according to the 2018 statistics, 22.6 million children are out of school in Pakistan. We need to work for them. Why are not they are in school? Why are not they are getting education? And why are they working on street? Why are not they are in school? And why are not they taking books and pens? This is the first question we need to know. We need to work for them because education is the first right of every child. Whether it's a girl or a boy, we need to work for them. We, we need to make our education system, the quality education system, that every child get get quality education system. Because through this, we can make, if we done this, we make our country towards peace building. If we together all the situation of Pakistan, if we think that why we are facing such statistic right now, what is the solution? And I only say the solution is education. Education is the first solution you can make Pakistan a bright Pakistan. Because in school you need you know and you learn that how we can make change and how we can work toward peace building. So this is the first important thing we need to educate our child about everything. We need to tell them that what is your role in your country towards peace building. We need to let them know. We need to know them about the peace building, about everything that our country needs because in future they are going to be the youth and the next future they are going to be the um, an empowerment. We need to tell them about the, what is the right thing and how we can make this um, system strong. The mission of mine is that I want to see Pakistan having a good relationship having a good peace talk with United States, whether it comes to relation with British, Canada, or the neighbor countries or in the world. I want to see the good relationship of Pakistan with all the countries and how we can make this relation. Question is, we can make this good relation by youth. We can make the, our youth to become those friends so we can work together in future we can work together for the upcoming projects. We can work together for world economy, for world politics and Pakistan economy development. So this is the thing we need to improve in, and inshallah Pakistan will do. In Pakistan, um, the first important thing and the first main problem is that girls face a lot of problems and every time it come up to girl and she become weak and she lose that, that she cannot go out of the four boundaries and she can go to school. No, we need to change it. We need to change this prospectus. If we take 10 girls, out of them, nine girls are in home and one girl is going to school. We need to mainly focus on the girls' education because girls' education is nation's empowerment. If we want our nation to grow, if we want our empowerment, we need to invest in girls' education. Because uh, I belong from Nashaya and uh, I know that um, over there and I've been into different cities and I know that girls are facing very problems. It's not basically like they are sitting in the home. No, many more problems in their life come and they don't go to school. And I am very happy that I have taken the step and I have taken my voice and I've raised the voice for those girls and to come up to go to school because their pens and book are the first right. They need, don't need to take uh, those uh, things that make, the, uh, make them far from education. So we need, in Pakistan, there are a lot of problems that are surrounding. The first main problem is that, that the schools are built, but the schools are empty. We need to focus on that. We need to work for the school so that children can come and they can get education. And second important thing is that we need to provide equal and quality education to every child. So that in Pakistan, every child can, can if, if she wake up in the morning, she go to school. If the boy wake up in the morning, he go to school, he have the pen, he have the book. Rather than that he wake up in the morning and go to a street or go to chimney to make bricks, no. This is not their right. This is not every girl right. And this and one important thing I want to share to everyone is that yes, if you want to make change and if you want that Pakistan will uh, come up in the world 
with Greenpeace or with Come With an Empowerment Country, we need to work for girls. We need to work for women rights. We need to work for women empowerment. Because your GDP also depends upon women as well. If the men can do business, women can also. So your GDP is equal. We need to work together. Because empowering a woman, you empower the nation. And when you empower the nation, you change the world. I have made a lot of parents when we have a school programs in different schools and colleges. So I, my myself, and I have made a lot of parents talking about the um, education priorities that who they give priorities. Basically, parent is the most important role in your life. With them, you can be a light, and with them, you can be in dark. So I um, want to give my message to every parent that let your children fly. Let your children be equal. Be equal to your daughter, be equal to your son. Give them the right so that they can give you, because sometimes you learn from children. This is the most important thing. If you make, and if you believe that these two, both your daughter and son, can give you the equal and have the same strength, there is no difference. First thing, we need to end the difference. When there is no difference between a girl or a boy. We need to end this and I want every parent to believe and to be strengthful that education is for both, for daughter and for son. Education and peace are like a, a very strong bond, that every bond that attract each other. How we can make, um, this is like a cycle of a country, it depends upon education. Because if you have a quality education in school, every child is getting education and every child know that this is my right to do and this is my right thing to make, then what is it? Every child, because from school, the children know what is my role, what is the thing that I need to learn, what is the everything that I know. From that, you can make change. If you have a good education, if you have a quality education, you can be a good entrepreneur, you can be a good economist, you can be a good politics. So everything that is connected in peace development is by education. Because through education, you can make, because like in Pakistan, in Pakistan development, your education is upon two ways, whether if you go to the right or whether you go to the wrong. So Pakistan's education is the first priority thing we need to focus on. And I really want government to um, make those projects for the children because instead of uh, focusing, yes, focusing on other things is important, but you need to focus on education first because those 22.6 million children, they are not from other world. They are not from Mars or they are not from space. They are from the earth and they are living in our country. We need to work for them we, because we do not want that their rights to be broken. We need to bring, build more schools. We need to bring more opportunities because youth, if you think youth can change, this is the most important thing. Youth can make change. You have to give the opportunities to them because if you do not give the opportunities, that youth is going to be a very distracted. We want our youth to be strong so our future can be strong. So government should take some um, steps toward education and need to promise that, that every child get quality education. There must be schools, there must be school rights, teachers and principals, and everyone have the right to make that system strong. So we need to improve our education because first thing that can change Pakistan is education.